Quinn, and this is my presentation of the American Heart Association, a nonprofit servant leader profile for Grand Canyon University. The American Heart Association, or AHA, was formed in 1924 by a group of six cardiologists with the purpose of researching the heart disease process in an attempt to prevent, treat, and cure heart disease. In 1948, the AHA changed from just a professional society dedicated to research to a national and eventually global voluntary health organization. Today, the AHA has more than 33 million volunteers and supporters dedicated to improving heart health and reducing deaths from cardiovascular disease and stroke. I included this cool original AHA logo from 1924 that I found on their website. The AHA's mission is to be a relentless force for a world of hunger, longer, healthier lives. The AHA also focuses on diversity and inclusion with the goal of strengthening all of us as individuals, as an organization, and as one world. These are two great examples of servant leadership at its best with the dedication to helping others lead longer and healthier lives. The AHA's advocacy is so vast. They do such a great work developing and fighting for healthcare policies and fighting for the health of our population and populations around the world. They fight for access to healthcare and healthy food, uh, seeking acute care as well as having healthy schools and preventing childhood obesity. They promote physical activity and clean air as well as combat tobacco use. The AHA is a huge public health advocate and endorses research for healthy individuals in a healthy world. The AHA is such an array of ways to raise money for its own organization and get others involved. Just to speak on a few, the Kids Heart Challenge is an organization focused on keeping kids healthy with a specific mission. Through Kids Heart Challenge, kids learn jump rope skills, how their heart works, and to raise money to help kids with special hearts. Have fun, learn how to stay healthy, and make a difference in the lives of others. This challenge helps to get kids ready for leading healthy lifestyles. The Go Red for Women campaign and events are geared towards empowering women to take control of their own health and combat and prevent heart disease. The Go Red for Women events and campaigns um, with the Go Red for Women event and campaign, more than 2 million women have learned their personal risk of developing heart disease by taking the Go Red checkup, uh, potentially saving millions of lives. The Core Vita Society is the AHA's annual giving society for philanthropy. They celebrate those individuals that make a life-saving impact across the United States. The goal of the society is to provide engaging and memorable events and experiences in order to support and recognize those that have donated a large amount to the AHA. The Paul Dudley White Legacy Society is dedicated to, in the memory of Paul Dudley White, one of the founding members of the AHA and was President Eisenhower's personal cardiologist. This society recognizes and honors the donors who have placed AHA in their will, trust, or other type of estate plan. <clears throat> According to Castorlo, the 10 principles of servant leadership are listed above. As I see it, the AHA utilizes every one of these. They listen to the needs of the community and the issues with heart disease to make changes. They are empathetic towards those sick with heart disease and want to help. They are most definitely healing those individuals who are sick. They are helping bring awareness to this issue globally. They are helping persuade others to contribute and get involved. The AHA is constantly conceptualizing new ideas to change the world and make us all healthier. The six cardiologists who created the AHA had amazing foresight in creating the AHA and knew it would change the health of the nation. They have amazing stewardship as shown in previous slides and are one of the most successful nonprofit organization. They are committed to growing and developing their research organization and getting support to continue on their crusade to eradicate heart disease. And they promote building communities with their amazing fundraising opportunities. The AHA has dedicated more than $4.1 billion in research, more than any other United States nonprofit company, to prevent and cure heart disease and strokes. This research has been able to save millions of lives. According to the AHA, through their research, they have corrected heart defects in newborns, developed drugs to lower cholesterol, developed procedures and processes to open blocked cardiac arteries, and the list goes on and on. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, was developed by the AHA and has been proven to be the number one life-saving tool in the face of cardiac arrest, saving millions of lives. Being a nonprofit organization, the AHA is focused more on helping others and advocating for improving health for all, but the AHA is also profitably successful. In the 2017-2018 fiscal year, more than $933,000 was the total income, 
with more than $890,000 in expenses. Their financial position this year was more than $1 million in total liabilities and assets. While I feel that all of the 10 servant leadership principles are important, I feel that listening, empathy, healing, awareness, and building community are the most important to me. Listening as a leader and as a team member is so important and vital to the success of, an, of any team and organization. If you don't hear each other, nothing good will be done. You also have to listen to the, those outside of the team to know what's going on. In healthcare, knowing the research and best practice could be the difference in saving someone's life or not. Empathy is a must um, in healthcare as well. If you're apathetic to those you're caring for and not showing any empathy, mistakes can be made and a patient can be hurt. Empathy towards your team brings you closer together and makes you a stronger team. Healing is a no-brainer in healthcare. If you aren't promoting healing, then you're in the wrong business. Awareness is important as well in regards to yourself, your team, and the patients you're caring for. Being self-aware helps keep you grounded, keeps you humble, keeps you striving to be better. Awareness for your team is another way to build trust and bonding. Awareness for your patients in healthcare is once again the difference in saving someone's life or not. And building a community for healthcare is important because it helps promote healthy lifestyles, smart choices, and provides help to those in need. And this is the end. Any questions?